Peter is nice. church. So Your shoes are giving me London down. Oh, thank you. Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you're really, really well. I am here in New York City. Oh my goodness, the heat, you would not believe it. I'm here today with Britton Smith, Hello. who stars in Be More Chill. Can you tell people a little bit about the show for those of you who don't know? I know that most of the people who watch my channel are crazy Be More Chill fans. Let's see, Be More Chill is the story about a boy named Jeremy who experiences the high school plight of the problems being that nerdy underdog and him and his friend Michael find a way to take this pill played by the fabulous Jason Tam that allows him to be able to understand how to be cool like my character Jake naturally understands. He really wants to date this girl named Christine. Throughout the play, I don't want to give it all away, mm -hmm. he discovers that it's just best to just be himself, get Christine the best way that he can with himself. It's a story about following your truth, really. Mm. And the music is gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Top notch. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Can you tell us how you first kind of came to hear about Be More Chill mm -hmm. and then your journey with the company and whatnot? Okay, this is gonna sound so not cool, but <laughs> I heard about this just through an audition. Oh, okay. My agent in 2014 it was like, there's a role for a high school jock in this new musical called Be More Chill that's mm -hmm. going to New Jersey. And I did the sides for Jake, mm -hmm. I prepared everything, and then I booked another job and I never went in for Be More Chill. Oh, wow. Weirdly, I was supposed to audition for it when it went to Two Rivers. Yeah. That was the first time that it had its full production. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's such a good story. I love that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And I have the email on my old email, you know, you, mm. like, you like go through and scroll. And I forgot that I actually had that appointment. So, oh. in hindsight, I knew about the role already mm. and then um i got an audition for it again this time around and i went in and booked the role of jake whoop, whoop. what was your reaction when you found out that you got the role because i always think that's nice like to hear where somebody was mm. i was very happy to pay my rent on a job in mm -hmm. new york city first and foremost yeah thank god i have a job i will be okay i'm also newly married so booking jobs oh. is a big thing yeah We're like we're trying to buy a couch, we're trying to do all types of things. I was excited first to have a job, and secondly, I was excited to be in a show again with Stephanie Hsu. I did an off-Broadway play with her at the public. That little nugget is so special. <laughs> I really love her. Yeah. So it was nice to know that I was going to be diving into another piece with her. But yeah. I didn't know it was going to that Be More Chill was what Be More Chill yeah, is. Yeah, it's crazy. I think I'm the only person in the world who didn't know <laughs> that Be More Chill was what Be More Chill is. Yeah, it's like its own entity, isn't it? And it just keeps it's, it's getting wild. bigger and bigger. Ask the guys in the dress room. I'm constantly having these new revelations as I'm down the street yeah. and meeting fans, saying how much it touched them yeah. and how much they see themselves in these characters. It just continues to s blow my mind yeah. and sink in that I'm in something really big and special. It's wild. That must be amazing. What has been your most challenging parts of the role? I would say the most challenging part, Amy, is keeping my chill through all of this. Mm -hmm. The the music is very high energy. There's a lot of excitement and energy in the movement as well. A lot of times I have to get here early to like warm up my knees and do all types of things to warm up, yeah. warm up my body. But with a lot of energy in the piece and the energy around the piece of people screaming at you, it's really hard to like breathe and find your breath and find your ground and be calm because it's a lot of a lot of energy. So yeah. the hardest part for me is finding my breath and finding my calm through the piece. Is it a bit like being in a rock concert? It is. Like screaming. I've been on Broadway a few times and I've done great pieces, but I've never been in a show where on a matinee, it feels like Saturday night. Like oh, wow. there's a thing on Broadway called, all right, it's a Saturday night Broadway crowd. And that's a certain thing. Yeah. Here we have a Saturday night Broadway feel every show and that does kind of play on your tiredness yeah, on yeah, the, yeah, on yeah. Your, you know of it's course. a different thing eight shows a week of rock star yeah. energy i don't know how you do it we do it i know probably with lots of pop tarts <laughs> what on earth you walked <laughs> in and you're like oh wow it's our yeah. i think it's a it's joke like cbs in here isn't it it's a joke with our bandmates i don't know the joke but that has to be a joke huh. yeah i would presume it can't so. be real do, do you want a pop tart i'm all right for the moment okay but, well thank you what was it like um stepping into the role when or into the company when there are people who did the original production was it like trying to catch up or did you create a new thing entirely so the piece is quite similar to what was in mm -hmm. Jersey but I was able to bring in my own view of Jake in the audition room yeah and they really latched on to my approach to who I thought the 
popular jock was and what kind of things made him so likable and what type of secret city that he has that allows him to be so appealing to so many people. They dug what I was doing so I was able to come in with new choices. Jake Boyd played it in New Jersey yeah. he's a great actor and I didn't feel a pressure from anybody on the creative team or in the cast to repeat what he had done so yeah. I was able to do my own thing and it's been received well. The weird part about it is that our fans are, are drawing us. I've been really? in a show where people, oh my god, oh, wow. fan art everywhere, out the ass. I'm mean, tons of, <laughs> can I say ass? Yeah, why not? Ass. I was a little nervous because I saw that Jake had, the other Jake had been drawn. His yeah. name is Jake and he was playing Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jake was being drawn as well. And I was like, are they going to be mad that they have to redraw me? <laughs> They don't seem that. I suppose it is hard when, because it has such a huge fan reaction and people are so invested in it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the job of the rest of the company and everybody to welcome you in, isn't mm -hmm. it? And make it Seriously. so that you are able to just do what you want with it. Did you ever watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Mid season, like season three, mm -hmm. they changed the mom. Did they? Do you know that? I didn't know. They changed the mom. <laughs> Luke the first mom, beautiful dark skinned woman. And then one day I'm watching TV and Will's on is this like beautiful light skinned kind of short woman. They didn't tell us, they didn't give us a notice, they never sent out an email, or they just like changed the mom on us. Oh. And I was pissed. So yeah. I know what it feels like when you are attached yeah. to something and it gets switched on you without mm -hmm. notice. I'm happy that I didn't get any of <laughs> those reactions yeah. that I got when I was mad that Aunt Viv was a different yeah. lady. Now, I have a question. <laughs> if you could play any other role in the show, who would you play? Who would you play? Do you know what? I would definitely play Michael. Why? Because I love him. Why do you love Michael? Because he so gets much? to sing Michael in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like really cool. He listens to Bob Marley, you know. He's just like a chill guy. It's weird to me that Michael is a nerd in school because Michael's actually cool. Yeah, I think he's really right? cool. He's like listen to his music. He doesn't care about what people think about yeah. him. I think Jeremy brings down Michael. If Michael was hanging out with Jake or Christine, I think he would have been okay. He wouldn't have been in the bathroom by himself. Very true. But I like yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, like, Michael isn't a loser at no. all, I don't think. Mm. I think he's very cool. And he knows that he's going to be cool in college. And there's some extra things in his storyline, yeah. this, this incarnation, that like you're going to understand so excited. why he's cooler. <laughs> yeah. There's some like parental guidance. Oh, okay. that is, that's helping him be a little more with the wokeness, awake, understanding Makes sense. Things. I've heard that there's a new song, is that right? I don't want to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's you like, dare it. <laughs> I would probably be Christine. Christine. I'm super passionate about music, mm -hmm. nerding out about music yeah. the way that Christine nerds out about play rehearsal. Mm -hmm. In my mind, Jeremy is in love with her passion and he's like, what is it that you have such a mm -hmm. grasp of? And he sees her, her beauty, but she has this like inner understanding of craft and artistry in a way that like I think people People think I'm gorgeous and beautiful, but it's really that I just love music. Now, I asked a couple of my audience some questions. Um, uh -oh. to ask some questions. And Lily asked if you have any pre-show rituals. Lily! Mm -hmm. Do I have any pre-show rituals? I'm talking to her like she's on the phone over there now. <laughs> now well, Lily. Lily. I do, I do. I go into the corner when the music starts. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a curtain in the corner. I like do a prayer for myself and I say, allow me to say what I need to say, give what I need to give, um, share how I need to share, do what I need to do because I've really believe that artistry is of service. Somehow I may need to do something different just for one particular ear. Mm -hmm. So I want to keep myself open to giving the way that people need to receive it instead of being stuck in my way of learning yeah. the lines, you mm -hmm. know? And I do a lot of like, Whoa! and like mm -hmm. all in that little corner. I really like it when people have pre-show rituals. Mm -hmm. When some people are like, no, I just walk on and I'm like, oh, come on, tell mm -hmm. me that you do something. Because I'm there like proper warming up before I do anything. What do you well. do before? I do like a full physical warm up vocal. And yeah. Like, I really need to feel like in the space. I'll go and like sit in the theater for a bit. Yeah. Feel myself like yeah. in the room. Yeah. Which I think is so important Dude, for me Dude, theater is church. Yeah. The theater is church. I it really mm -hmm. is. And I'm not like some strict Christian or anything like that. Like, it does have a certain, like, like energy that is really sacred. Yeah. And if you honor it, it will honor you. Absolutely. You know what I mean? If you just are like, I'm at work, you're going to probably hurt your leg. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel exactly the same. Yeah. Way. Molly asked. Molly. How did you personally prepare for the role? Like, before the rehearsal room? Was it just a matter of kind of looking at lines or... Oh, okay. Did you look into playing a jock or if you've played a jock before, you know, that kind of... I often take roles, my like character work, from a few sources. Mm -hmm. I like to pull from my family a lot. Oh, okay. But this particular role is very much my brother. Oh, really? He, yeah, he's a, he was a star athlete so easily. He was a star musician so easily. Oh. He was handsome. I mean, so easy. And I was very much the Jeremy here to him. And I'm 
freaking cool now. Like, I mean, look at his trousers. I mean, look at my trousers. Like, yeah. But growing up, I was very unsure about a lot of myself and yeah. awkward. And I just always was like, whoa, it's so easy for him. Mm -hmm. And there are people who really can just like do things. Yeah. So I wanted to make Jake not like a jock, like really like pushing to be popular. Mm -hmm. Make him just... I'm, I'm sure so that. lucky. Yeah. It all kind of happens for me because there are people that it just kind of happens oh, for. Yeah. I was very excited to find the ease in the jock. Mm. Finally, the last question is from Sophie and she asked, do you have a favorite line from the show? Do, I do. do. I love that it's just there. It is. I, I mean, it wasn't mm -hmm. just there. I had to like think about okay, it, yeah. but I thought about it. I also thought that this interview was last week, so I oh, came no. very early. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much for doing of this, course. honestly. My favorite line in the show is, and they can yell and hurt like hell. But I know I'll be fine Cause all the voices in my head The loudest one is mine okay. Is the Seriously And who can't identify mm -hmm. with that Yeah My mom knows what that feels like yeah. You know what that feels like mm -hmm. Everyone knows The noise is there You can make a choice to be yeah. like What do I think here? How do I matter here? And I love that totally. line What a nice way to end Oh my goodness Thank you so of much Of course, of course Honestly To be able to You know Pass this show on To people in London And back in the UK And whatnot Is absolutely amazing I'm coming to see it tomorrow Now it is sold out Pershing Square Signature Theatre Very well Until September 30th I've done my homework I know Everybody should follow Britain at Britain Smith World Instagram Perfect. Are you on Twitter? I'm not on Twitter. Should I get on Twitter? Definitely. I feel like I don't have a lot to say on Twitter. Do you know what? I didn't used to have a lot to say on Twitter and now I just use it as like my diary and I just... Blah, blah, blah. It all goes on Twitter. Yeah? <laughs> just, right. just spread your thoughts on Twitter. Okay. They'll love it. Alright. But anyway, follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much. Please come to the show. Yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!